Hello everyone and welcome to another video, it's Francesco here and what we're going to be doing in this video is going over the new app store in iMessage. Essentially this, if you don't know, is an iOS 10 update. It essentially allows you to add applications to use uh, in-app iMessage, which is quite weird, it's a weird concept. Obviously when you're messaging friends, um, what you can do is you can now access the app store from the bottom dashboard. Um, essentially once you've downloaded a few apps, you can click into them and start using them. There are some quite interesting ones, some, some quite quirky ones. But what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to highlight some of the key productivity ones. So let's get stuck in. As you can see, I've already preloaded a few apps. I've made some comments on them as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include all of them in the link in the description so you can go away and download them for your iMessage. Um, but I'm also gonna give you a bit more context in why I enjoy using them and why I would use them in the future. So the first application that I note is called Do With Me and uh, essentially it's a checklist for you and your friends to collaborate on to-do lists. Uh, essentially what you can do is once you enter it and you start creating the list, it pulls into a full iMessage experience so it takes over the actual uh, conversations area. And what you can do here is you can change the title of the list, uh, the, the name of the list, sorry. Uh, you can even add to the to-do list and once you're happy with the to-do list, you hit send. That goes over to your friend in a sort of rich uh, format, which then your friend can enter. They can actually see the name of the list and the items involved in it. If you don't want to send it with all of the stuff, you just press X in the corner and it goes away. Um, I'm really impressed by this so far. It's a cool way to send little to-do lists to friends. The next app on the list is called I'm In, and there are quite a few of these sort of scheduling, event scheduling uh, applications on the iMessage store because essentially a lot of the time people are inside iMessage, they're trying to arrange an event, and this is probably one of the best ways to do it. So there are actually two that I've noted, one called I'm In, which I'm in now, <laughs> um, and one called Vu, uh, which I'll talk about. So within I'm in, what you can do is you can create specific events. So what I've done here is I've pre-created one called tech. Um, so you can add a title as you go in. Uh, you can change the actual header image, which is quite cool as well. Um, if you want to personalize it, it doesn't have to look so default. Um, you can actually edit whether it takes the entire day and you can choose certain date picks, uh, which is quite cool. So um, you know, there, so you've got some options there. Um, if you want to upgrade, there is a sync to calendar feature and you can add more photos as well, which is quite cool. 79p, I haven't used it yet, but it's something to consider. So once you do that, um, you can actually choose, uh, you know, all of the dates you want to send the invite to, you can confirm it and you can send over and they can actually choose the specific uh, dates and times they want to attend, which is quite cool. Okay, so next up is Evernote, and you guys know in my videos I talk quite heavily about Evernote anyway. Um, so, Evernote is obviously my default note management application, but what you can do inside of Evernote iMessage app is essentially send notes to each other. So for example, if I wanted to send these notes, meeting notes after a meeting over iMessage, I can do that quite easily. What it will do is it will send a almost like a public URL so that you can go into it, but it's a really easy way to quickly send over the notes. So for example, if I wanted to send um, that one there, you know, to a friend after a lecture, really does save me some time. You can also search inside of the notes. You can actually find a note based on a search term, which is quite cool. One thing I think they'll add in the future is an ability to actually, um, you know, go into a notebook and search, but obviously that functionality they're still testing out. This is a good starting point for Evernote. Okay, so the next one is called Drafts. It's down in the bottom left-hand corner for me, but essentially, you know, if you have Drafts, it's a free 49 download, um, but essentially it's a way for you to sort of capture information across your day. Some people sort of compare it to Todoist as a way for capturing information. It's a really cool way to sort of make an inbox that's centralized. You can set up really cool little recipes that send stuff. But anyway, in this context, what I've done um, and what I will be doing is actually capturing a draft list of items that I would like to send to people. You know, they could be like uh, predetermined text messages or links that I don't necessarily keep on my Evernote. Um, but essentially, once you tap into drafts, um, and let's say I've saved this one, it actually formats it directly into the message and you can automatically send that over, which is pretty cool. Obviously Drafts is a download that you have to do separately on the App Store, so I'll include the link in the description. Obviously it's up to you on how you use this. I'd recommend it, it's quite a decent application. 
So the other the other scheduling tool uh, is called uh, Vue, and essentially this is a sort of it feels a bit more rigid as a tool. So as you can see, uh, what you can do once you click in is name the event, choose a start and time, uh, choose a location, um, and actually it gives you suggestions based on the restaurants around you and bars and cafes, um, which is quite cool. And you can save it to your calendar as well, uh, which can be quite handy. Um, a lot of people want it directly in the calendar so they don't actually forget. Uh, very cool, so you can send that over. Um, and it doesn't give you an option to change the cover image, but I think once you type in different things, like a cafe, it will change it to a nice picture of a cafe. The other cool application that I discovered um, is called Scanbot Go. And for those who know, I've mentioned a few times on Twitter about these sort of scan bots where you just hover over, very similar to Evernote's uh, document uh, like scanner. It scans all of the image in white and black and brings a really crisp image. So here's a quick shot of me doing this earlier. It works really well. Uh, it's really impressive that they managed to fit this all into a baby little um, display down at the bottom, but actually discovers stuff, searches for, this, searches for the document, and sends it straight to the other person. So if you quickly want to scan something via iMessage, this is a great app to do that. And there are actually a few of these uh, in the app store. So I'd recommend scan, scan Bot Go, but there's also Scanner Printer as well, which is uh, quite cool, and iScan too. So what I wanted to do in this video is also mention a few of the other applications that I discovered. So uh, one would call, be called Wink. Uh, essentially, this is a way for you to send handwritten notes to friends. I'm gonna download it soon and have a play, but essentially you can make these really cool little notes. Um, I think it probably work better on sort of iPad size screens, but a really cool way uh, making a note personal and sending it to people. So that's a cool way of doing stuff. So that's a $3.99 download. So Wings are really good, obviously $3.99 download, so just make sure you know before you go in buying it whether you'll be using it. The other thing from AOL is an application called Alto. It's, it's an inbox application. I haven't managed to play around with it. I played around with it at launch. It's fairly snappy interface. But the one thing you can do through iMessage is share any photo that's directly sent to you via inbox in case that's quite handy for you. The other thing, Pennies, is Pennies Mini. Is I thought this was quite cool. You can actually share budgets with friends. Um, if you wanted, you could actually keep that tally going and seeing how much is remaining in the account. Um, and obviously you can uh, tweak that as you go along, change the name of the budget. A uh, very nifty application, and but that one was 79p, so just, just make sure you're using it before you go in. Another of the applications is called Streak. Uh, for those who have it, it's a $2.99 download, but essentially it allows you to track your goals and habits. Very similar to what Trello's done and, and Streaks has done, they actually haven't launched their iMessage app yet, but when you download it, uh, it pre-installs some stickers for you to use, so that's a pretty good option as well. So there are a few other polling applications that I saw. I saw one called Just Polls, and it's a really simple polls with friends. Uh, you can see it down here, polls with friends. Very easy to use and quite cool because obviously you can customize it quite highly. Um, the other thing I was actually really, really impressed by is Summit. Uh, Summit Up, sorry. It's a mini spreadsheet for your iMessage. Um, it's really impressive actually. You can actually create and uh, implement a quantity discount system here and you can make almost like a little tally chart for people. And once you send it over, the other person can actually edit it. Um, and actually that's quite handy because they can then uh, send it back over to you or you know reopen the link, which is quite cool. Um, and you can notify friends when those have been updated. So very cool, uh, neat way of using. So guys, they're the iMessage applications that I recommend. Obviously there are a few productivity ones there, a few fun ones. Uh, one other one I recommend is an application, uh, for those who don't have LiveSum, a great uh, health and food tracking application, but they've made a really cool sticker one uh, where you can actually send stickers to friends, but they're animated, quite fun, um, just to guys, let you guys know. Episode, uh, of course, what I'll be doing is uh, adding all of the links in the description so you guys can actually go through, download them if you like. Um, Obviously, I'm gonna be exploring this impressive integration from Apple. Obviously, there's a load more functionality than apps can use. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe because um, you'll get all of the latest videos uh, when they do come out. I'm looking to share more feature videos soon. Uh, what I am gonna do is include the link with my next five videos, which I'll be posting very soon. 
uh, for you to go and watch as soon as they're up. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.